<coughs> Welcome to another edition of City Beat. For the Herald and Review, I'm Kenneth Lowe. It seems City Manager Ryan McCready didn't wait long before he and his staff regrouped on a new garbage and recycling proposal. Just three months after a similar proposal failed, McCready came back with a new plan which passed Monday night. We're going to take a look at some of the new major changes which are going to take place. They should be affecting about 90% of residential customers, so here's some of what's new and different. The new garbage plan that starts April 1st will eliminate twice per week pickup and allows residents a choice between two levels of service. Both come with a built-in recycling plan that would include all recyclable materials and doesn't require sorting. Yard waste pickup would no longer be free. Residents who want unlimited year-round pickup would be charged $1 per month. Those who don't want to pay would have six weeks of pickup in the spring and six more weeks of pickup in the fall at no additional charge. Backdoor service would also change. In cases of hardship, residents could continue to get it for free, but for those who still want it, haulers would institute an additional charge. The City Council agreed it would examine what that charge will be at a later date. The first level of garbage service at $16.65 a month would roughly equate to the current once per week pickup that some residents already have, but at about 70 cents lower. At that level, residents could dispose of 96 gallons of trash a week, either using their current cans or opting to buy or rent a 96-gallon wheeled tote. They would also be able to recycle using their current bins or another 65-gallon tote. The second level of service at $19.65 would allow residents to dispose of twice the amount of garbage, or about the same amount they currently get with twice weekly service, but for 25 cents less. Pickup would still only be once a week and the same recycling plan would be in place. Many of the controversial aspects of McCready's proposal from September have been left out of this one. For instance, alley pickup is going to continue as usual and the city won't change how their garbage is billed. So, that's what's happening in the city this week. For the Herald and Review, I'm Kenneth Lowe. Take care.